I'm just hiding behind a mountain of hampers here at the Harvey Nichols pop-up shop. Wow. Now hampers can sometimes be deemed as a bit of an impersonal gift, but I don't think that can be accused here because these hampers have got quick little names that are specific to most people in your life. So for example, there's the rise and shine. So perhaps you've got somebody in your life who struggles to get up in the morning or loves morning. There's also the weekender. So if you're planning a romantic weekend away, perfect for that. Or the fashionista, hint, hint, one for me perhaps. Or perhaps you could go for the ultimate indulgence. It's packed full of bottles of wines, champagne, biscuits and lots of goodies. And you really do need to come in and have a look at these hampers. But if you've got a fussy somebody in your life and there isn't a hamper that suits them, don't worry because you can have a bespoke hamper made up and you can pack it full of all the goodies and treats that they enjoy. No Christmas dining table is complete without crackers and here at HomeSense there's a huge selection ranging from novelty through to luxury but you must remember to match the style of cracker to your style of table setting. You also need to make sure you match your cracker to your guest. After all, I'm not sure great granny fancies a game of Twister. we dress the inside of the house in the Christmas tree but we mustn't forget about the outside and the traditional way of doing that is with a good old fashioned wreath and here in M&S home as you can see I'm stood by a whole array of wreaths the traditional one being pine cones and red berries but you can be more contemporary with the look as well and go for something a bit more sparkly and vibrant after all it is about keeping up with the Joneses A simple and effective way to add a Christmassy feel to a plain wall is something like this. As you can see, it's a hanging start from Marks & Fences home and it's really effective because it's so simple. It's neutral in colour so we'll sit with any colour scheme whatsoever. And I like that it's very traditional, it's got frosting on it and nice little baubles. And the great thing about it is, hidden in this hessian sack, which does hide away actually, it does have a bit of a longer string, is a battery pack. So the whole start lights up and in the evening it looks very Christmassy. Christmas isn't Christmas without a stocking at the end of the bed and it's not that it just dresses the house it actually starts a tradition as well because the Christmas stocking you're given as a kid tends to be the one that you keep all the way through your teens and this one here is called Morris the Moose and as you can see it's got Morris the Moose on the front however I've been a very good girl this Christmas so I'm not sure Santa will fit all those presents in there I think perhaps uh, this one's better suited for all of mine we spend so much money at Christmas on food and drink that you don't want to be let down in the presentation of it. So here at Next Home I've chosen four stunning cocktail glasses and as you can see we've got four different designs. They're very vintage and 1920s inspired. They are cocktail glasses but the 1920s should also serve champagne in them as well. I'd say cheers but the budget hasn't gone to a glass for me. wouldn't be Christmas without a hamper and here in Selfridges they start at £65 and you get your usual festive fare of Christmas cake, shortbread, tea and jams but what I love about these is also you've got this little picnic hamper that you can use at a later date as well or if you're expecting a house full with lots of different tastes you could always... A bespoke hamper ticks all the boxes because you can stuff it full with everybody's favourite goodies.